Now firstly, let's talk about the basics. The lime colored pantyhose by Cecilia de Raphael are 15 den, which refers to the thickness of the yarn. They are designed to be sheer and lightweight, making them perfect for this natural belly dare look, assuming they would not be lime green. As you can see, these pantyhose are incredibly sheer. This is the waistband. This is a classic Cecilia de Raphael waistband and honestly, it makes me a bit worried that they are going to be sliding down. This is what the legs look like. And this would be the heel and the toe. The toe does not appear to be reinforced at all. However, commonly my experience with Cecilia de Raphael is that their pantyhose are such a good quality. There really isn't much reinforcement necessary. So let's put them on. Now, although they are lime green, once you put them on, they will give your legs this smooth and silky finish without looking sort of too opaque. The sheerness is ideal for warmer weather or for occasions when you wish your legs and the definition to be just a little bit more enhanced. Guys, you know that when it comes to Cecilia de Rothel in general and their pantyhose, one of the most prominent standout features is the gloss. And these pantyhose are no different. They have a beautiful glossy finish that sort of catches the light just right. The shine gives your legs the sort of healthy, radiant and quite a toned look, making them perfect for day or night. Now let's take a look at them a bit from closer up and let's talk about how they are actually made. The lime pantyhose are crafted using a blend of nylon and elastan, which ensures a comfortable and flexible fit. The knitting process involves advanced machinery that precisely waves the fibers together, creating a durable yet delicate fabric. And on top of it, each pair undergoes a rigorous quality control to ensure they meet the brand's high standards. Another important aspect is the design details. The waistband is soft and stretchy, providing a comfortable fit without digging into your skin. And although the toe area is not reinforced, the pantyhose in general are of a very high and durable quality. And it's exactly these thoughtful ideas that contribute to the overall comfort and longevity of the items. Now, let's talk about how they actually feel against my skin. The pantyhose themselves are actually incredibly soft and smooth. The blend of nylon and elastan creates this silky texture that glides sort of effortlessly against your skin. They are also light and breathable, making them suitable for wear for an extended period of time. So whether you're sitting at the desk or moving around, these pantyhose will stay comfortable, giving you this second skin kind of feel. All right, guys, and now we have that. Let's compare them side by side with my old Cecilia de Raphael pantyhose. So what do you think? Which of these two pairs do you deem shinier? I'm going to move my hand and my legs from side to side so you can see better how the light reflects off of them. I personally would say that the new pair of the lime pantyhose is quite a bit more reflective than the old pair. However, we have to take into account that the old pair has been washed so many times and they are still certainly shiny enough. So this definitely to Cecilia de Raphael's credit. So you let me know what you think in the comment section. Which of these two pairs are shinier? And I am now going to take these off and we will do a stretch test. Alright, so my tan pantyhose seem to be a bit stretchier. However, I would say my lamp pantyhose are just slightly more shiny. Anyway guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow.
Good morning guys. Today we are going to figure out if I can try on all of these nylons in just 10 minutes. So let's get to it. So these are pantyhose number one. They are from the Vintage Blue Collection by Pretty Polly and they are very soft. They stretch pretty nicely, but they are slightly smaller. I wish they would be one size larger. And they have a light reinforcement at the tip. It's really cute, isn't it? I think it's called a shadow toe or something like that. And they also have a light reinforcement here at the top. I think when they came out in the 90s, they cost about one pound, maybe a little less. So let's try on pantyhose number two. So my pantyhose number two have a pretty unusual color. I would call it emerald blue. You see, it's actually much easier to get lime blue than emerald for some reason. One really interesting thing about these pantyhose is if you look at the tips, they have a very uneven reinforcement for some reason. I don't know why, I think it's a production issue. However, despite that, I actually do really like them. It's a pity once again, they are a bit too short for me. I ordered them from Amazon and I remember they said one size fits all, but you know how those things go. They do have a reinforcement here at the top and the only other reinforcement is at the tip and as I said, it's pretty uneven. So let's try these gray ones. Let's try pantyhose number three. Our pantyhose number two, my sheer pink ones. All right, guys, these are pantyhose number two. They are very, very sheer, just with a light reinforcement here at the tip. They have one seam at the front here and two seams at the back and you know, I'm not exactly a fan of that. However, I do really like the fabric. These pantyhose are made out of a really soft nylon. So for me personally, it really makes up for the design with the two seams. The den is about, it's about 15 den. They are slightly thicker than the previous ones but they are still very sheer. In terms of nylons, the sheerness sort of starts disappearing at about 40 den. When the nylons become about 40 den, then you can't really, they are not as sheer anymore. And then from 50 den and up, they become quite opaque. However, since these are 15 den, you can see the legs really nicely. All right, guys, that was pair number two. Let's try on our pair number three dark gray let's get to it hi guys welcome back today we are trying on my red cecilia de raphael the design is severe and they are 15 den thick now i already opened the package a few weeks ago because i was just so excited to see another pair of red nylons. You see, I actually have two other pair of red, but they are not quite right. One of them is too thick, in other words, too opaque, and the other one is crutchless, so, you know. Okay, so let's start. First things first, let's take a look at the packaging. Cecilia de Raphael does a fantastic job designing the packages. They are sort of very sleek and very easy to open. 
Take the pantyhose out of the package and try to put them back as neatly as possible. But don't worry, when you order them, they actually come much flatter. And this is what the pantyhose look like. One thing I'm noticing right away is there are two seams at the back and you know how I feel about two seams at the back. I'm actually lately getting a bit used to it because so many more pantyhose are doing the double seam at the back. But it still reminds me a bit of tights I had to wear as a kid, you know, in winter when your parents dress you up and they want you to be warm and they give you these woolen tights that have really prominent seams and you can feel them on the whole time you're wearing it. That's what it reminds me of a bit. However, Cecilia de Raphael is far better than that and the seams are usually much flatter and they fit better, so let's see how it goes. Time to put them on. As you can see, the vibrant red is absolutely gorgeous. I was a bit worried taking them out of the package because they looked very wrinkly and that sort of caught me off guard. However, the fabric feels incredibly smooth and silky and the pantyhose themselves in this particular color would be sort of a great addition to add a pop to any outfit. Putting them on, you immediately notice the good quality nylon. The Sevian 15 are made of a blend of nylon and elastan, giving them just the right amount of elasticity and durability. And that's essentially what makes them so easy to put on. They slide on sort of very effortlessly and the fit is, I would call it snugly, without being too tight. You see, some pantyhose can be on the tight side. They would be sort of quite constricting and I don't like it in summer because that's what's going to make you feel even hotter. And now, before we do a closer up, let's take a look at the full view of the pantyhose. About the pantyhose I'm wearing right now. As I have said, they are Sevian 15 by Cecilia de Raphael in color red. The 15 stands for 15 denier, which is thickness, which creates this perfect, sophisticated, and elegant finish. And although the red color is quite bold, Cecilia de Raphael chose a slightly muted tone, which allows it to be bold yet classy, making them suitable both for day and evening wear. Now personally, I would say one of the main standout features of the Sevier 15 is the comfort. The waistband is flat and it does not dig into my skin. The seams are also very well crafted and honestly, barely noticeable. And overall, the pantyhose create this very silky, smooth, elegant silhouette under your clothing. Another thing I love about these pantyhose is their durability. You see, despite being sheer, they are quite resistant and resilient against runs and snags. This is especially important when you're investing in a high quality product like Cecilia de Raphael. Now, let's talk about the styling for a bit. I understand that styling bright bold colors can be a bit more intimidating. However, personally, I would say if you choose slightly muted version of a bright color, you will find plenty of outfits to wear it with. And the shade of Soviet 15 is certainly versatile enough to pair it with a broad variety of outfits either for the day, the evening or night. Now I personally would either wear them with a dress like this or something monochromatic that complements the color red, like black or grey. If you're uncertain, keep it simple. Alright guys, and now let's take them off and let's do a stretch test. I'm going to be comparing them with my other pantyhose by Cecilia de Raphael to get a bit of a good reference of how stretchy the Sevier really is. 
the Seville 15 are much smaller right out of the package than the old design of pantyhose. They also feel a bit rougher when they are not stretched. They did not feel like this when I had them on. When I had them on they were very silky and smooth, however like this the fabric is a bit wrinkly. Alright, let's see how they are going to stretch. Alright, although they are a bit shorter, they are a bit stretchier than the old CDR. And guys, with that, that is it for today. Let me know which pantyhose you like better and if you like bright colors or if you prefer more muted and subtle tones. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you tomorrow.